What's up, fungi allies? Today, talking some about a lion's mane grow kit. Um, so part of our business is selling grow kits online, and sometimes there's questions of how to use a grow kit and why use them. Um, so with the lion's mane grow kit, what we're going for is this, right? So here we've got some nice mushrooms popping out. Um, both are lion's mane. Um, you can see there's these nice white, um, like icicles, spines uh, that are uh, hanging down. Um, and this is kind of a baby, baby mushroom. You can see when they're really young, they don't really have spines yet. So the spines are undifferentiated at the beginning. And then as they mature, they, you see the spines and they poke straight out and then they start to cascade down. Um, so I'd say this bigger mushroom is about ready to harvest, maybe wait another day or two. Um, this smaller one over here, I'll definitely wait another day or two before uh, picking it. You can see kind of the difference on this side uh, compared to over here where the spines are not differentiated. Um, coloring is a, another really interesting thing that happens with this mushroom. Um, usually when it starts, it's kind of this pinkish color and then it goes to more of the uh, white color that you see here. Um, so what do you do when you get one of these in the mail? First off, you gotta buy it at our website, Fungi Ally, and then you'll get it and it'll come looking like this, right? So it's this block of sawdust um, with some mycelium. Usually there's some aerial mycelium at the top. If there's excessive fruiting bodies up there, you can take a knife and just cut this open like that and just remove any of the excess uh, uh, material okay I'm just pulling off some of this right and it's just this like uh, just mycelium like material or mycelium material it's kind of like a, a leather it feels very much like leather there's a company Ecovative um, that's making a mushroom leather um, interesting stuff uh, okay, so we do that, and now we want to get rid of all the air at the top, right? So we don't want the mushroom fruiting at the top, so we'll roll this bag down, just like that, and then flip it, okay? And so now, the, uh, the block doesn't have any air on the bottom, um, okay, so you can see there it is on the table, there's no air on the bottom, and this is ready, uh, for us to start fruiting. Now to make uh, slits for this mushroom, what I like to do is make a little V. So I'll take a knife and just stab it into the substrate on one side and then on the other side. So you end up with this kind of V of plastic. Let's see here. See, so you can see it just flips open. And so at the beginning, this is closed and it's keeping the humidity high and then as the mushroom starts growing it just pushes that open and uh, uh, you get a nice mushroom out of it. So I actually do one of those on the short side and then two on the broad sides. So let's just do a little whoop, whoop, one and with these on the broad side I'll do them on a diagonal so one kind of towards the bottom in the corner and one towards the top corner so they have sufficient um, space to grow out. So you can see we've got this little V, right? And the mushroom's gonna grow right out of that V. So in total, you're making one, two, three, four, five, six holes, right? And the mushrooms will fruit out of all those holes. Um, yeah, and you wanna mist, you wanna make sure you mist this uh, uh, grow kit when it's fruiting. Um, and to get to the, the completely fruiting stage, bring that one back over, um, takes about 10 days. So it'll be about 10 days for the mushroom to get to the point where you'll be uh, ready to harvest it. Um, harvesting is really simple. Simply just take the mushroom and I just do a little twist and pull, right? And so you can see that V that was there it's pretty much free of any uh, material and is ready for the next fruit. Um, and then when we're looking at eating this mushroom, 
Um, this is the base where it uh, was connected, and that can be a little bit tough, but the rest is great. So again, I'll just cut that little part out. Not much, you know, so I just cut this little bit out, and then the rest of the mushroom is good to eat.